Hello again, traders, and welcome back to the Hot Stocks Outlook for November 11th, 2022. Hope you all are having an excellent week out there in the financial markets. We certainly had an exciting week and a lot to go over. So we'll go ahead and we'll start here with NVIDIA, Lululemon, Hasbro. We've actually looked at these several times over the past few weeks. Good to go ahead and update those forecasts and understand how these tools can really help you get ahead of a lot of these exciting moves. So we'll go ahead and move on to Ford. And lastly, we'll end on Walt Disney. But if you haven't already, make sure you go ahead and click on the link below in the description and get a live demonstration to learn more of the specifics about how this technology is going to help you make better trading decisions day in and day out when participating in the marketplace. So uh, we'll start out here with shares of NVIDIA. And as always, what we have here is daily price action. So each one of these candles represents a full and complete trading day. But right up against all that price data, what you'll notice is there is a blue line and also a black line. Now, what you're seeing there with actually that black line on the chart is that is a simple moving average. It's a very common technical indicator. And what it does in this case is it really acts as a baseline. So it looks back at the previous 10 closes. It'll add those all together and divide by 10. And that acts to smooth out the price action. Let us know where market prices have already been over a given period of time. But of course, traders need to be in front of that next move, right? Getting those positions on before all that volatility hits the market. And so what we're able to do is actually compare that blue line and black line. And so whenever that blue line crosses above the black line, what that is to get that number and that calculation, and then therefore plot it against the chart for the trader each and every evening, this is where Vantage Points technology is performing what's called intermarket analysis. And it's using that technology of artificial neural networks to do that. So what that means to produce what we call this predicted moving average is it's looking at markets that are known to drive and influence the future share price of NVIDIA. So we can think of NVIDIA as the target market. And there's all of these relationships, whether they be things like, you know, the broader indices like the NASDAQ, whether they be things like the value of the dollar index, which has been huge this week, huge moves in the dollar, and you're seeing stocks go much, much higher. Um, we've got things like the commodity markets, like oil and ETF groups, and all the way down to, you know, maybe even individual markets that share positive or inverse or leading or lagging relationships. And it understands what are those important relationships. And then it takes all that information, does what neural networks do well, and create accurate predictions of where price is headed next. So that's what this technology does well. Take in huge amounts of data that a human wouldn't be able to process understand how those relationships are subtly affecting things, and then produce a roadmap, a highly accurate forecast through the use of these separate predictive indicators that we cover here. So whenever that blue line crosses above the black line, you can think of it as a trend forecast, right? It's letting you know that the overall average prices are starting to move higher. And this is where tools like the IntelliScan feature will actually alert you to when all of this happens. So it's not just seeing this in NVIDIA. It's seeing it in many areas of the marketplace and understanding the significance of that and why you might want to get ahead of it. So if we go ahead and continue on here, if you look at the very bottom of the chart, you'll see you have this bar that goes from green to red back to green. And so if those neural networks are working to produce this highly accurate predicted moving average to let you know when there's trend shifts in the market, this indicator at the bottom, the predicted neural index, is tuned to solve a different problem, short term strength or weakness just over the next 48 hours. So that's really important for a trader who may have a, let's say, long position on to understand, hey, is there going to be weakness over the next couple of trading days? Well, maybe I should be a little bit prepared for that. It doesn't mean you have to get out of the market completely, but certainly you don't want tight stops and all these things that are just going to be a problem. So you see here how the neural index in certain conditions, we go uh, bearish here and we actually get a gap down. So how I like to think of this is it's, you know, it's just saying that there's essentially some lower lows over the next 48 hours. But as long as the blue line's above the black line, the overall trend is still up. And so we've come back to NVIDIA sort of over and over again. But, you know, now we get this big pop. And, you know, what you want to be able to do is understand that back here is where you really want to start that position. And once that position is on, then we can use other vantage point indicators, things like the even predicted high and low, which now we're moving to sort of the last set of indicators here of a predicted range that's provided for the trader before each and every trading day. So imagine having the overall trend direction, a very accurate prediction of short-term strength or weakness in the market, and then even having intraday levels with which to strategize from. And so we can see here with shares of NVIDIA, we see, you know, we got a lot of volatility picking up around here around CPI, and that's where, again, you'll see things shake around. 
But notice how this works early on in the trade extremely effectively as far as where should you be looking to scoop up shares of NVIDIA? And even if you're a shorter term trader, where might you be looking to take some short term profits on shares of NVIDIA? But clearly here, the overall trend is up and uh, that's what we're seeing, right? And a lot of it has to do with dollar, but that's what's understood is as dollars weaken, it skews these forecasts to help you identify where's the strength in the marketplace. So really tremendous move here in NVIDIA, but a lot of these charts look the same. And that gets to this point I'm making here of, it's those big global intermarkets that are really driving the bulk of the market. And you really wanna understand as far as that portfolio, where are the safest places to take those long positions and maybe where might be some areas to even take some short positions to balance that out. Uh, so we can move forward here, we've got Lululemon. Now, you know, if you go back and watch the previous hot stocks outlooks, especially go back two or three months, I mean, we're very bearish. I mean, I'm joking that it's the not stocks outlook because there's nothing to buy. And then things shift and we start bringing in bullish opportunities and stepping away from bearish things and seeing how mixed the market is, finding sectors that are doing well like oil. Uh, but now we're seeing more of the traditional marketplace turn up. So here's Lululemon, we see you have this crossover uh, to the upside. And just over the past week of forecast from where we took, you know, left off from last week, well, we can see how this gets updated for traders. And so you have this roadmap that says, okay, we know Lulu is strong. Okay, going into the week, where should we be looking to scoop up value here? And, you know, we talk about some of these ranges where you hit that previous day and volatility shakes around, but you know, this is around all this volatility going into CPI, but clearly you want to get these positions on back here, right? Start this campaign of taking some profits on this market so you can deal uh, with that volatility and, and hold on to the trend as things get really exciting here. So uh, here again, shares of Lulu up 19% in the past 16 trading days. Obviously a lot of that coming in after this huge move we've had this week. Now, uh, here we've got shares of Hasbro and we keep bringing this in, actually highlighting a stock that is persistently weak. And how do we know it's persistently weak? Well it's a very different picture as far as those short-term forecasts, right? So uh, we get this crossover to the downside, a lot of great opportunities to you know, establish that short position, and maybe it complements some of these other things that you're bringing into the portfolio. You know, that's what you have as a trader really need to decide. But when it comes to the tools that you're making to you know, make those decisions, again, we got another week here of Hasbro, up at these predicted highs are clearly gonna stand out as better levels to short. And you see that throughout the week here, it's one of the few stocks that's down for the week and still considerably down for the week, right? Uh, so not doing good over there at uh, Hasbro. Uh, now here's, we've got shares of Ford and this looking a lot more like the traditional market, but a good example where we can look at these short-term predictive forecasts. So you see that if you're running your IntelliScans and you've got a process set up, you're gonna see these things shift to the upside. Not everything shifts to the upside, right? But certain places where you're gonna understand that there's more opportunity as far as bullishness here. So you see, we get Ford Motor, this crossover to the upside, and now we can look at those predictive forecasts. And you know, this is what I wanna highlight is this is very short term. And so what it will pick up on is like I meant, these you know, lower lows over the next 48 hours. And so that's how I wanna really think about things. You see again here, neural index bearish, uh, you get this gap down, but the overall trend is up. And that's what you really need to understand. Uh, we get a lot of volatility here around this trading day. But again, you go into the next day, you're gapping up and, you know, accelerating to the bullish side here. So again, as far as these, you know, trend forecasts, the trend is up in these markets, right? So there's no way you can really look to short them, but they may go ahead and maybe complement some of these other shorts that have been in the portfolio. But you know, you know, what we're doing here with trading is you're walking forward through time, identifying new opportunities and understanding where are the best places to go ahead and stake out some of these positions where it's more likely to make money. Uh, so here's Ford, you know, over the past week, again, we can look at these, uh, you know, short-term forecasts here to help you say, you wanna be a buyer, only be long, take profits on long. So even days like this, like that gap down, sort of beautiful there. Uh, but here's Walt Disney, right? So uh, some stocks you don't wanna be messing around with this week. So here's Walt Disney, again, the past week of trading here. Well, what's been the idea? Well, short, take profits on shorts. Where might you wanna do that? Up towards predicted highs. And this, you know, it's gapped and moved around a little bit, but obviously not looking very bullish, neural index still bullish. And so, you know, the markets may bounce and whatnot, but like I said, there are clear places where you do not want to be pushing your luck on long positions. But that's what's great about this. When you make money on the short side because of this period that we've had, it makes it easier to go ahead and start balancing things out where you see those forecasts lining up. So 
Uh, we'll go ahead and uh, leave it there again, just a movement lower here over the past week here in shares of Disney, 11% drop there over the past five trading days. So, you know, we'll go ahead and wrap it up here. But once again, you know, this has been the Hot Stocks Outlook for November 11th, 2022. Thank you all for watching. Best of luck. Make sure you sign up for that live demonstration and have a great week.